What's good, YouTubers? Your boys, Eric Shine. Back in again with another reaction video. Today we got Deji Rand, the official music video. I just wanted to play Damn Black Ops 4. I was like, alright, I finished my videos for the day. Then he drops a diss track. These motherfuckers don't have it. Y'all just. Do y'all live for this shit? Is this what you do? I'm sick of everybody dropping diss tracks fast. Take some, take your fucking time. Enjoy your shit. This nigga dropped a full-fledged movie within a day. What the hell, man? What the, what in the shit? But, um, y'all are gonna have to put me on game on the context of some of the stuff. Because I know he's gonna try and probably do some personal stuff that I, myself, am not gonna know because I don't watch them enough to fully understand it. So put me on game on that. Don't sit there and be like, oh, you just went off your head. It's off your head, you little bitch. No. Suck my balls, all right? Let's get into the video. Hey, and the campaign's still going. Get Zeta 10K on Instagram. All right? I want to talk to the big time Instagram thoughts. All right, G Herbo. Sound like one of his old beats. Oh shit, hold on, first of all. Yeah, I'm I'm gonna let the next bar roll. Oh my god, that one is straight disrespect, but I gotta talk about that. Um the beat wise, beat wise, this is hot, man. This is hot. and when I say G Herbo, I'm I'm talking at the time Lil Herb. It was Lil Herb. Yeah, damn. I'm so used to calling Herbo now. Back then he used to be on like crazy ass beats like this. We talking about what was it? The uh, I can't even think of the name of the shit right now. I'm zoning out. But he called him a fat fuck, which is eh, kind of a bass bar. Nothing too fucking crazy with it. But this next line. <laughs> That's how you get shot the fuck up. That's how a nigga come up on you, you know what I'm saying? They're like, hold the fuck up. You gonna fuck what, bitch? You gonna fuck who? I don't think so. Demonetized, by the way. But you ain't fucking shit. Oh, shit, actually, you know what? Let me put that up here. <laughs> you ain't fucking shit. You ain't gonna fuck my wife. Because I'm already slinging me, you feel me, my boy? I'm over here hitting with the wombo. She ain't know about the stinky leg, dragging the leg in the pussy. You don't know nothing about that. You black ass nigga, fuck you. I'll be cursing about it. I'll be mad. I'll call him up for him like Deji. I'm a fucking. I got 30 on him. I got 30. I'm going to pull it to guy. Nah, I'm just playing. Don't do that. I don't curse about it. I'm saying any of that shit. But that's a disrespectful line. Alright, first of all, people say I be on some hating shit, but well, shit, I probably do. I don't know, man. I might come across that. I'm just a sarcastic motherfucker. He said I went to the wedding, the dresses were cheap and all that. Like, you just kind of like, that mean you was just sitting there the whole time, like, kind of hating no key on your homie. I was at the wedding, I was fucked up. I was in the bathroom. I fucking, and this was like two weeks ago. I was going to record it, but I was, I was. I was sleeping on the table. I was so excited for my friend. I'm like, hell yeah. Finally, like, you know what I'm saying? You're one of the first people to get married. And you hitting on the dresses and shit? Man, I don't know, man. I'm happy that like, I got my wife. Uh, I enjoy oh, when you have your wife. You know what I'm Shit, fuck it. Oh, he did, he did a double beat on him, too. Yeah, I challenged and he ran. He ain't messing with the man. He no longer all the plans. He know I'm making the bands. All the lives I don't understand. Cause he begging off the plan. Yeah, he ran. I didn't like his hand. Yeah, he ran. I didn't like his hand. Yeah, he ran. I didn't like his hand. Yeah, yeah, he ran. I didn't like his hand. Yeah, he ran. I didn't like his hand. Say JJ this, JJ that. Let's talk facts. JJ's in your top 10 videos. JJ got you that YouTube plaque. JJ's cameraman, JJ's bitch. Got your lips on JJ's dick. When JJ got signed to a label, JJ didn't even bring you in. Oh, damn. He went personal on that. First of all, let me talk about this, man. What the fuck this nigga thought he was? He thought he was a Magnum condom rapper? Man, if you don't take this gold dust, 
<laughs> Coming to the arena, shit off, man. You can't be wearing this. You what did you thought you was an alpha? This nigga, <laughs> gold, gold finger head ass. Um, I will say it's B selection though, compared to uh, Randolph beat wise. Then she picked some hot ass beats. He picked some hot beats on this. I ain't gonna lie, I can't flex at all. These are some shits. It's like you know, if they was just a regular song like with somebody in general, them shits hot. You feel me? So. Apparently, okay, and y'all learn how to feel me on that. JJ is, uh, I guess, who really helped him, help him blow up and all that, and whatever, he got a record deal, blah, blah, blah. I see he's trying to go for the sting because, you know what I'm saying, the whole KSI, KSI bitch, like, doing that stuff and all that. I'm, call, I'm saying this right now, yo. This shit stage. This shit is so stage. I, I'm calling it. I'm calling it. I'm calling it. I'm saying it. I don't give a damn. I, in my opinion. So, so people are like, how could this be staged? Because motherfuckers are used to shit being staged now. So you got to throw in some extra effects. You got to say some fucked up shit where people are like, no, it's not staged. You seen Flight them what they was doing when they was uh, sat there at the head. McQueen, he's sitting there. We're on patrol doing that SpongeBob run. Fucking tackled him and shit. You got to sell it. And if if it's not, then you know what I'm saying? Hey man, hey shit, keep hey nigga, you ain't gonna you ain't gonna punch that nigga though, you feel me? You ain't gonna meet him in the ring, get that money off that, you, you know what I'm saying? When JJ go sign to a label, JJ didn't even bring you in. How can this guy battle me? Brother pays a salary, he cannot handle me. Lay off the calories, LA wanna bring it up. This time dig it up. Did you tell Laura all the girls you were ringing up? That's some sellout shit. That's sellout. Hypothetically, and I talk all hypothetically, of course. If you sit there, you ain't supposed to ever air your homie's business like that. That's just one on one. Like, you know what I'm saying? That's your nigga. That's your boy. Your friend. Whatever. You don't go sit there and say that, like, oh, yeah, you know about the women he was talking to? What do you do? Gossip girls? The fuck? This nigga might be an actual magnum condom. He on this nigga's dick. You feel me? Yo, here stretching. Stretching far. Far in between. But, eh. I, I, uh, the beat's still hot, though, Deji. The beat is still damn hot. <laughs> Yeah, I challenged and he ran. He ain't messing with the man. He know I got all the plans. He know I'm making the bands. All right, Drake Flair. Yeah, he ran, hiding like his aunt. Yeah, he ran, hiding like his aunt. Yeah, yeah, he ran, hiding like his aunt. Yeah, he ran, hiding like his aunt. Oh hell no! Nah. Hold up, man. Fuck around with your fingers. Ew. Oh my god. Nigga's fingers. <laughs> you got some odd world Abe Odyssey shaped fingers. You sitting there? Wah, wah, wah. Hi there. <laughs> Fucking fingers, man. I'm out of here. Um. Okay. Full breakdown. No sarcasm. Beat wise, good. The first part was better. The, the course that he did on the second part. They, these are base bars. These are base level bars. There was nothing in here that struck me as like, wow, that was a mean subliminal. That was like something like that. It, it was just base level, all right? So cool to be tight, but it's base level bars. Like, up, oh, you're fat. Uh, you talk to other girls. Like, it's nothing, nothing wowing me. Like, where I'm like, oh, damn, oh, shit, I ain't know that. You know what I'm saying? Nothing crazy on it. Um, so if I had to pick who had the better overall bars, I'm going with Randolph. If I had to pick who had the better overall songs, then I'm going with Deji. They're a lot more catchy. And it, like, it's kind of, it got a party vibe to it. Which, I mean, shit, I mean, I know it's supposed to be a diss track and all, but for the, just the amazing beat factor and all that, it's pretty dope, man. But, nah, man, so that nigga gotta do something with his fingers, man. If you like this, you want more, let me know in the comment section below. Make sure you subscribe. Till next time, peace.